question to ask right now is what's really happening in Mexico? While they're at war, we come together to make peace here in the bottom of the canyon. Now we remember the man known as Caballo Blanco, or the White Horse. For days, I'd been searching Mexico's Sierra Madre for the phantom known as Caballo Blanco, the White Horse. The legendary Caballo Blanco, he came looking for the the runners, long time ago. So I ran with the Raramuri in the Leadville 100 mile race in Colorado. That was my reason to start coming to the Copper Canyons of northern Mexico. That's Micah True. True was a long distance runner made famous by Christopher McDougall's nonfiction bestseller, Born to Run, a hidden tribe, super athletes, and the greatest race the world has never seen. On the lake, what do you go? Well, I remember uh, as a child, just running around for play and running free. Most boys in California, you know, they want to be the tough John Wayne. They want to be the cowboy. He was Geronimo. He told me that he ran a lot when he boxed. I was running 160, 170 miles a week just for fun. And that's where I actually got my handle, Caballo Blanco. He was just a guy wandering around pretty much in his old truck with a dog. But somehow <laughs> or another, he was able to create opportunities. They wanted to do something to encourage their Raramuri to continue to run free, so I uh, decided I would make a foot race. Anybody who finishes the race wins 500 pounds of corn. This is a tough race. It's an ultra marathon. Can I run these 80 kilometers? How fast can I run it? Something good is happening around here. This little town has come alive. Even though we hear a lot of bad things about Mexico and what's going on, good things happen here. Micah True's body was found Saturday in a remote area near New Mexico's Gila National Forest. He had vanished four days earlier, heading out for a morning jog. Somebody's got to take the baton and do something beautiful with it. It's a relay now. We are